eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight Robots fight. A lot of the builders have come out from the pits to stand around and watch this fight. I can see why. It's wow. interesting, the size of Promhita is, is definitely in line with these three powders. It's a compact, tight little bot, very fast. Wow, oh, big pop for Smee. Smee is in heart, Kyle. Smee All right. is a multi-bot now. Let's count it out, that is one down. All right, can Promhita do it again? Wow, one down. All right. Knocking Droopy into Star Child. Yeah, this is definitely, I mean, we've still got three functioning bots out there. And it looks Smee like Shredder Bro's weapon is down. Ken Promheda disables Star Child. Hard to say at this point. We're not even halfway into this match. We have a zombie Smee that is in the box with its two independent drive pods. I don't even know what I'm looking at, Kyle. Yeah, and Droopy's trying to do something over there in the corner. There we go. There, Droopy's now getting some walking action in. With 90 seconds left in this match, can Promheda do it? I don't know. It's interesting. In the small box, Droopy is slow to move around. In this big box, Droopy is just crawling. To earn a knockout, Promheda needs to knock out at least two of these robots, I believe, right, Kyle? Three, actually. Three, okay. Oh, that's a tough road to climb. Let's see yep. if they can do it. Absolutely, even if you're a 12 pound bot, these are tough bots to knock out. I mean, especially with the big wheel of Star Child, like how are you going to knock it out? You'd have to rip those entire wheel assemblies apart. And wow. I am not seeing a weapon functioning on Promita at this point. Have they Promita, <laughs> are you? There wow, we go. Okay, all right. I thought they were stuck. We're getting down to the last 30 seconds of this match. Our judges are going to have a tough, tough call to make with this one. But at the same time, Promita has no weapon. Where is it? Nothing is spinning. 20 seconds left, Kyle. Ooh. 15 seconds left in this match. Promheeta trying to hold everybody off. Star Child's uh, wheel is just Nine, hanging eight, by a thread. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the fight. Wow. Anybody who's still got a weapon, stop spinning it. What on earth was that? That was delight, Kyle. That was pure delight. All Kyle, right. this is the most fun that I've had at Norwalk in like six months. Like this is, <laughs> I love this. I love everything about this. <laughs> All, right. All right. This goes to the judges. Let's take it there. Let's uh, start off with Zach. Zach, your thoughts on this super unconventional match. You guys would start off with me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That is not the kind of match that there exists judging criteria for. <laughs> um, I just have no idea how to really categorize the, the damage when half of the multibot team is in pieces and half of it's working fine. Yeah. Um, had Promheta never lost their weapon, it would have been a hands down decision for them, I think. There was never really any control, but I don't even know what that means when there are six pieces of your opponents. Yeah. Um, I don't see a clear winner either way. We got no knockouts. We've got no control. Both of the, all of them basically were charging into each other the whole time, aggressively in every direction. Um, I, ha I can't pick a winner. I have to say... I have to say Promheta, actually, wow, which I know okay. is a little bit controversial, maybe. Um, but I didn't see an actual point where the other team damaged their weapon. I see that it stopped working, but I didn't even see, like, a Star Child hit to a belt or something like that. 
and there was really no other downside for From Hedda the entire time. While well, there was significant damage to Smee and many of the other robots, just not quite as obvious. So I have to pick Prom Hedda. All right, one vote for Prom Hedda. All right, we're going to go over to Craig Danby, who is uh, rocking the generic BattleBots uh, shirt like a BattleBot stan. I love it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, it's not it's generic. It's limited edition, Kyle. Ah, oh, the Builder 2020 builder shirt. shirt. I thought those know. only came in hoodies, um, Craig. All right. Yeah, I did too. So, um, did Framheader have full drive at the end of the fight? I would say yes. No and weapon, it, though. Did it? it I think so. It seemed to look like it could fully move. Um, Self inflicted damage is still damage. Yeah. Um, I have to give it to Waterproof Sealant. Whoa. Kyle. It's a split judge's that decision. That way I don't have to make a decision. Oh, uh, Don. Basically, uh, Craig Don. just handed Don a big plate The of weight of the internet drama. is on your shoulders, Don. Oh, boy. I think boy. this is the first split decision of the day. Yeah, <laughs> cool. true. And then and you're the last uh, one. And it's no the finals, you know, NBD. Like Correct. All right, Don, your thoughts so, about this yeah. match. Uh, so what I saw was a Smee getting cut in half. Yep. And then uh, Promdala's weapon went down, which is its primary way to cause damage. Shredded Bro's weapon went down yeah, as well. Like, like I, I don't, I don't need to influence, yeah. you know, your decision. Yeah. But uh... right. I am a judge. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm just keeping everybody in suspense. Uh, you know, just building it up. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Promdella. Just. I don't know. I feel like it's caused a little bit more damage. All right, we've got two votes for Promheta. Is that right? That's right. That means Promheta wins this match. But however, however, that, is, that just means they get to do it. This is a all rematch over <laughs> yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. Fix your bots. You got 